Hey everyone, Ryan here for Catch 5-9 Ministries. As many of you guys know, I'm a huge baseball fan. Specifically, I'm a Minnesota Twins fan. However, now I live in Kansas and I married a Royals fan. So on occasion, we'll be watching the Royals together. One of my favorite things about watching a Royals game is after they win. You see, after they win, what happens is they interview one of the Royals players. <laughs> During the interview, the catcher, Salvador Perez, he sneaks up behind the guy getting interviewed and he pours water or Gatorade all over the player. <laughs> this has come, come to be known as the Salvi Splash. The Salvi Splash is something that started a couple years ago with Salvador Perez. However, did you know that there's actually a Salvi Splash back in the Bible? It happened to Jesus. It was at the end of Jesus' ministry when he is on his way to Jerusalem and he stops in Bethany, a town called Bethany, which is not too far away from Jerusalem. Well, while he was there, there was a huge feast that was being thrown at Simon the leper's house. And Jesus was invited along with Mary, Martha, Lazarus, and all Jesus' disciples. And so it was a huge party, basically. And so they all gather here, and they are having a good time. Well, at some point, Jesus is reclining, and Mary comes up to Jesus, takes this pint of perfume, and pours it all over Jesus' head, all the way down to his feet. Now, this is not just your run-of-the-mill, regular perfume. This is a very expensive perfume. In fact, they say that the, the cost of this perfume was a year's wages, which is really expensive. Can you imagine a year's wages of perfume pouring out on someone? So the question is, why did Mary do this? Why did she decide to pour all of this perfume on Jesus? Honestly, it is just to worship Him. She just wanted a way to show Jesus how much she loved Him and appreciated what He has done for her in her life. This is the heart of worship. See, Mary wasn't looking at you know the cost of the perfume. She wasn't looking at um, what will people think of me if I do this. She just wanted to worship God. That should be our attitudes as well. We shouldn't care what other people say or think. We shouldn't care how much it costs us to go and worship. We should just want to worship with all of our hearts. See, that is the heart of worship. In a couple of weeks, we'll be celebrating Easter. And that is the hope, my hope for you and myself as well, is that as we go into the Easter season, that we have that expectation and that view of worship, that nothing can hold us back showing our love and appreciation for all that Jesus has done for us.